My name is Chris Monroe, and I work for Rock USA. Rock USA is a national nonprofit that helps residents of mobile home parks, also known as manufactured housing communities, preserve their homes and their neighborhoods for generations to come. Rock USA was launched in 2008, seeking to continue the model developed by the New Hampshire Community Loan Fund, another nonprofit that was started in the early 1980s, working with small mobile home parks that were at risk of being redeveloped assisting them in becoming resident-owned communities that are still resident-owned today. The Rock USA Network has helped more than 250 communities, ranging in size from only four homes to over 400 homes, become resident-owned, with more joining the movement every year. You might be wondering, what is a resident-owned community and how does it happen? A resident-owned community is exactly what it sounds like, your community, owned by you and your neighbors through a cooperative that you create. You and your neighbors, if you choose at tonight's meeting, can decide to form a nonprofit cooperative, which is a legal corporation controlled by its members, which are the residents of the community. Forming a cooperative does not mean you as the residents need to purchase the community. It only means that you want to get more information about the process. And in order to do that, forming a cooperative is a critical step. The reason this is important is because it protects the residents of the community from liability. For instance, if you are interested in the chance to become a resident-owned community, you will want to know what shape the infrastructure of the community is in before making a final decision, similar to how you would want to have a home inspection done before buying a home. To get this information about the infrastructure of your community, such as the road conditions, water distribution system, and electrical systems, the cooperative will need to hire an engineer. This way, one person is not responsible for the engineer, and the engineer can share information with the cooperative and not just one person. It also means that the bill for the engineer isn't the responsibility of a few people. The bill is the cooperative's responsibility to pay. You might be asking yourself, how will the cooperative pay bills? Where does the money come from? We will get to those questions in a moment. How does it work? The structure of a cooperative is straightforward. It is made up of members, which are households that have joined the cooperative. Joining is easy. You just need to be a resident and homeowner in the community. One household equals one membership and one vote. This way, one or two people living in a household have the same voice as a household of four or five people. The membership will elect a board, and the board is made of members of the cooperative, usually between five to seven people. The members of the cooperative determine what the board can do through making decisions about a few documents. These documents, voted on by the membership, govern the board and how the board acts. The board is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the community with the help of a third-party property manager. The board makes sure the cooperative is on the right track and the third-party property manager handles things like collecting rent, helping to maintain the community, and providing information to the board and membership is needed. The membership is responsible for meeting every year to vote on a budget, changes to important documents, and elect a new board if a new board is needed. The cooperative is a democracy, which means the majority rules and the smaller voices are given a chance to be heard while the rights to information, process, and fairness are preserved. You are at the beginning stages of the process as your current owner is exploring the option of selling the community. You as residents also have options in front of you. There are two paths of community ownership. The first path, the path you are familiar with, is private ownership. This path means that somebody owns your community, decides the rules, decides the rent, and has control over many aspects of your living environment. The second path is resident ownership. This path means that you as the residents can come together, form a cooperative with the assistance of Rock USA and a local Rock USA partner, and actually own the community you live in. One of the largest benefits to resident ownership is housing stability, meaning that the community can never be repurposed or closed. Another benefit is stable and informed rents. Under resident ownership, the goal of the cooperative is to maintain expenses and revenue in a way that benefits the residents. Every year, the membership comes together and votes on a budget that includes all of the cooperative's expenses and expected revenue generated from lot rent. Under private ownership, the owner will pocket a percentage of the money generated each month as an expense. Under resident ownership, that is one less expense for the cooperative to consider 
because there is no private owner or investor to take a profit. Rent increases are lower over time in resident-owned communities, and the membership has a right to know when and why they will happen. Other benefits include community building, professional development opportunities for cooperative members, potential discounts through Rock USA Network, and high-quality technical assistance provider from Rock USA Partners. As with anything, there is a trade-off. Forming a cooperative and becoming a resident-owned community requires an investment of time and effort. Community members are expected to participate, if possible, in the cooperative, whether it is running for a board position, serving on a committee, helping a neighbor, or even just attending a membership meeting to vote on a budget. But with a little investment of time, there is an opportunity for a stable and affordable future. I'm sure at this point, you are wondering important things like how much will this cost me? What will happen to my home? Who will take care of maintaining the community? How can residents come together and run things? Those are a few of many important questions you might have, and we would be more than happy to answer them during our upcoming question and answer session. For now, the only question you need to think about is, but I like to explore the possibility of resident ownership. Soon, you and your neighbors will have the opportunity to vote and decide if you would like to move forward to get more information. This does not mean you're voting to purchase the community. All it means is you are voting whether or not you as residents would like to form a cooperative and learn more about the process. Thank you and good luck.